Will you go to hell if you commit suicide? You would be surprised at how often I get this question. As a matter of fact, this is probably one of the most frequently asked questions I get. Many times, someone has asked me this after a friend, family member, boyfriend, girlfriend, or spouse took their own life and they are concerned about their eternal destiny. Will they be in hell? The question is not as simple to answer as you may suppose. Typically, a person who has committed suicide is lost because they have given up hope on life, lost their faith in God, and they have killed themselves. And the Bible says, quite specifically, thou shalt not kill. And that includes yourself. But at the same time, we shouldn't be so quick to judge because we don't know what was going through the mind of that person when they committed suicide. For example, say someone purposely overdosed on drugs or pills and then they realized they made a huge mistake and repented, but then they died because the overdose ended up taking their life. Will God forgive that person? I believe He will. In addition, not all cases of someone giving up their life means that they will be lost. For example, if you sacrifice your life to save another person's life, that will not cause you to go to hell. Take Jesus for example. He died on the cross for our sins and He's in heaven now. Jesus even went so far as to say in John chapter 10 verses 17 through 18, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. Jesus intentionally sacrificed his life to pay the death penalty for our sins. Nobody forced him to do that. So if you sacrifice yourself to save another person's life, you will not go to hell. For example, if your child is playing in the street and you see a car speeding down the road and you run to push your child out of the way and get hit by the car and die, I don't think God is going to hold that against you. But regardless, if you know anyone who has committed suicide, I think the best thing to do is trust in God to make the right decision about what their fate will be. Believe me, God will do everything in His power in order to help them make it into heaven because He wants us to be saved. That brings Him joy. Jesus said in Luke chapter 12, verse 32, Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Also, in case you're thinking about committing suicide, don't do it. It's not the answer. Even though there are some cases where people regret committing suicide and God will forgive them, don't count on you being that exception. It's not worth the risk of being eternally lost. Instead, pray to God and trust in Him and He will help you with whatever difficulties you are experiencing. Psalm chapter 34 verses 17 through 19 states, The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. If you'd like to learn more about Jesus and the Bible, please click on the link to the free online Bible study guides in the description box. Committing suicide typically leads to someone becoming lost and will lead them to hell. But we shouldn't be too quick to judge because we don't know what was going on in that person's mind between the time they initiated suicide and died. Only God knows our hearts. So in those cases, it's best to trust in God to make the right judgment about that person's fate. And God will do everything in His power in order to save them because He wants us to go to heaven. If you give up your life in order to save someone else though, that's not like a typical suicide. Sacrificing your life to save another is a commendable act of bravery. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and share it. Subscribe if you're new and click on the notifications icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Also, please pray that my ministry will continue growing and reaching people for Christ. And if you'd like to support my channel and ministry with a donation, Links to my PayPal and Patreon accounts are available in the description box. Your donations really help. And check out some more of my videos by clicking on the screen. I have a lot of good Christian videos which I'm sure you'll enjoy if you liked this one. God bless you.